Toyota Automotive. As promised, we are refurbing the alloy wheels of the ST3. Currently, as you can see, they are in gold. So, not a fan of gold, to be honest with you. I'm going to do them a gunmetal grey using Alpha's wheel and tyre trim. Now, this is actually a very good paint. I have actually used their car paint before, and it's quite thin, so it kind of flakes off, doesn't last as long. This is quite durable. Even if you do manage to miss a bit of dirt, it will go over it nicely. It's kind of the next best thing to um, heat proof paint. It's not heat proof, but it's quite durable. So what we're gonna do first is I'll clean the wheel up nicely. Um, then what I'm gonna do, as you'll see, is I'm gonna sand it down, kind of light sand, and then clean it up with white spirit. So once that's done, then we're gonna mask it all up around the tire. Don't even need to let any air out because I've done hundreds of wheels, never let the air out. Um, if you want to actually go and do take the tires off and do the whole inside, you can do, I don't see the point in it. Right I'll guys, so the sanding process, what I'm using here is just um, a soft rubber pad and it's got a, quite a rough edge to it, like a scouring pad. You don't want to push too hard on this to be honest because it's, because it's got a lacquer on there from a previous refurb which is uh, done quite nicely actually. So all we're doing is just a very light scruff just to take the shine off. So it's important to take all the shine off otherwise the paint won't stick properly. It's very important that once you do this you clean the wheel properly because all the residue and the dirt that will come off will kind of stick to the wheel like a bit like a magnet so you want to get all that off or any brake dust that doesn't come off while you're washing it so you just want to take the shine off it really make sure you get all the edges any marks that you need to get rid of you might need to concentrate on slightly more but make sure you get the whole surface of the wheel very important okay guys so that's the sanding process done um the wheel is nicely um scoured up shine's been taken off it now I'm just going to use some basic white spirit on a microfiber cloth. I'm just going to clean up the wheel. So just take all that residue off. You don't need a lot. It's actually a very good cleaner. Just make sure you get into all the little spots where you're most likely to get a reaction when the paint hits because those are the, the spots where you're more, more like, most likely to miss when you're sanding it goes everywhere I'll probably go over it twice just to make sure you haven't missed anything. The last thing you want to do is paint a wheel and it reacts. It's not the end of the world because you just let it dry, you sand over it slightly, level it all out and you can apply on top of it again but you don't really want to do that unless you have to. It does happen, it happened to me when I first started doing wheels. Um, it's all down to your prep work. If you rush your prep work, then it will affect your finish. So don't rush, take your time. Make sure you clean all the edges properly because that is where most of the dirt and the brake dust will gather. Now 
think this is why sometimes when you do when you get people to do refurbs on alloys and they start curbing or you get something called curb rush um, and it starts from the edge of the wheel because they're not being cleaned properly or they're not being sealed properly so I'll go through the sealing process on the final coats when we use the um, universal lacquer which is again quite durable right so that's the wheel cleaned we'll now move on to right guys so with the masking I'm just using a, a standard wide masking tape uh, you can use anything you prefer you can use painters tape etc it's not the best stuff but um, it gets the job done so what I normally do is tear off strips Kind of place them um, in the ridge of the wheel. So it basically seals off the edge of the tire and still exposes the rim or the wheel, so it's still paintable. It's not the end of the world if you do get a slight bit of paint on the on the tire because you can actually just rub it off. It will come off quite easily. So it's worth taking the time to mask it up because it will save you a bit of time. So we're going to fast forward now to the painting stage. We're uh, back at the painting stage now. Uh, one safety thing, always wear a mask. Uh, you want to live to see another day and um, these fumes are, can be quite toxic so they're not expensive masks i mean you can get better masks but uh, i'm in a well ventilated area although you can't see behind you but all the doors are open um so just wear a mask and be safe so i've covered up the amg behind me because don't want any over over spray getting onto it this one here i have a bother because that's going to be getting a full complete paint job so that is still to come so keep tuned for that so what we're going to do i've had these cans um sitting in um, the sunlight for a little while for about 20 minutes or so so make sure you give them a good shake right um make sure you don't just spray straight at the can because all most of the paint will just sit at the bottom so make sure you, you warm up the can make sure you give it a good shake and then you start dusting it with light coats so the paint we're using today is a Halfers raw and trim paint. Now this is the actual colour of it is steel, so it's not actually an anthracite, it's a slightly lighter shade, which I think will complement the car better. So the wheels all cleaned up, everything's masked up. Um, don't forget to take the centre cap off, which um, I'll show you how to do now quickly. I normally do. Just pop it off from the back. It will go rolling around, but we'll grab that in a second. Right, so first of all, make sure your, your can's warm. Nicely mixed up. Just a quick one before we do that. Always mask up the actual air valve. Go. So all you're doing is dusting it very slightly. Good even coat.
Okay. So we're just gonna let that dry. As you can see, it's getting a slight mist there. I haven't put my mask on yet because it's not a full on spray. Once I start spraying, I'm gonna put my mask on. So that's just a light dust at the moment. And then what that's gonna do, it's gonna create like a barrier for that paint to stick on. And once it does that, the paint will adhere to it nicely. So we're gonna fast forward now. This I'm going to give two coats because the previous paint job is quite well done. So there's not a lot of surface to cover. I've covered most of the surface in the first coat. So I'll give it another coat, probably a bit heavy on the spray, and then let that dry for say half an hour to 45 minutes, probably about an hour, and then we'll apply some lacquer. So second coat done, gone on nicely again. So far, no issues at all. When you're spraying in a garage, etc., um, you do get some dust particles. Don't worry too much about that. What I normally do is, um, once it's dried after a few days, once the paint's cured a bit, you get a two, two and a half thousand wet and dry sandpaper and just go over it very slightly and then just polish the wheel up and that will get rid of any kind of residue, dust, particles, etc. Obviously, if you're doing this at home, you're not gonna have a professional spray booth or anything like that. But, um, you know, we even make mistakes in spray booths. So, about half an hour to an hour, I'm gonna let this dry now completely, and then I'm um, gonna apply some lacquer. All right, guys, so it's been about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Um, yeah, it's touchable, it's dried nicely. Um, we're gonna start with a lacquer now. This is a universal lacquer, so I was gonna use a body shop lacquer, but um, I think it might be uh, money wasted, to be honest, because I think the normal lacquer is fine. But um, the, the body shop lacquer gives it a bit more, it's a bit more durable, if I'm honest with you. But I think this will do the job just fine. This is a universal clear lacquer, from, again from Halfords. I think their spray paint's pretty good. Always use them, not gone wrong. So, don't need to do anything with the surface, don't need to clean it, etc. because it's, it's all fresh. So yeah, again, I've kept this in the sun for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Just give it a quick shake. There's, no, there's actually no ball in this one, so it's just a matter of giving it a good shake. And then again, same with the paint, start to lightly dust it. position the camera a bit more directly on the wheel just so you guys can see how the finish has come out so there are a few speckles here 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 so we'll let that fully cure now fully dry um, then give it a wipe over and then go over it with a two two and a half thousand grade wet and dry this is basically the process of it this is um, this is one heavy coat of lacquer I don't think it needs another one if I'm totally honest with you and 
and um, now what I'm gonna do is remove all the masking and then um, yeah I'll give you a glimpse of the finished product so the masking has been taken off I'm just gonna prop this up so it gives you a better look on the actual wheel not too bad of a finish um, I'm gonna just let this area dry a bit more sometimes when you try and take the masking off here if your hands was to slip I've done it before many times and it will just ruin the paint so I'm just gonna leave that on for a little while but no paint on the tires didn't deflate it uh, we're gonna probably let this cure now probably for about an hour or so and then um, be ready to put back in the car so thanks for watching my uh, real wheel refer video keep an eye on our next video we are remapping a uh, Audi A6 it's really a black edition TDI and then um, we will be going on a road trip and uh, taking this piece with us so uh, we're not sure where the road trip is yet but we're thinking somewhere in Europe so keep your eyes peeled thanks for watching guys